Okay, Hill, what does Thanksgiving mean to you? Wow, that's deep. <laughs> Uh, I think unfortunately over the last couple years we haven't been in the United States or we haven't been with family um, to celebrate Thanksgiving but from 2015 and before when I think of Thanksgiving it's purely family I don't know why that makes me emotional but I think hmm. it's some of my best memories from up through 2015 have been Thanksgiving and although it often means that grandmothers and moms and dads and brothers and everyone cooking. I think it's a time when nothing other than family matters. Um, in both of our families, mm -hmm. actually, it's a time when we can all get together, spend the whole day essentially doing nothing other than vegging out, watching TV, eating, taking naps, playing games. But it's really, it's really just a pure family time, which I think um, unfortunately is so overlooked other times during the year, but Thanksgiving in both of our families is incredibly special and we're so, so, so glad to be celebrating with our families this year. What does Thanksgiving mean to you? Um, it means having my family together, much needed time. Um, I love cooking. Greg loves eating. <laughs> yeah. it's a winning combination. Yes. And um, I was telling somebody uh, a couple of days ago that in my family, cooking is like a gift that you give, and so um, it's a gift that I get to give you guys and get to spend time together. So yeah. it's one of my favorite holidays. Thanksgiving number one, Sorry, we have lights. The spread prepared prepared by mom. Alright, here we've got the traditional turkey deviled eggs, which is like mayonnaise, the yolk. What else is in there? Relish? Relish, maybe? Uh, we've got some lima beans. These are delicious. I don't know if every family does lima beans for Thanksgiving, but we've got stuffing. Natalie loves canned cranberry sauce that she's spilling all over the place. Classic Natalie. Whoops. Some, uh, some rolls and a delicious looking salad. Did you get enough on your plate? I'm about halfway through this round. Kaden, <laughs> <laughs> you barely even put anything. Don't you know on Thanksgiving you have to fill your plate completely full? Oh, I didn't know that. I don't have You gotta. <laughs> yeah, y'all's plates are really disappointing. Yeah, you have to. I'm, I'm so I don't like scared. when my food touches. You have to fill it up. What? You don't like when your food touches? <laughs> you yeah. Don't overdo it on the dressing either. <laughs> Somehow I forgot just how delicious deviled eggs are. I know. I was making sure everyone got their first round because I'm not gonna get some more. I've got. I've had three already. You have. Well, I got. I've had two. There's one more on my plate, and I'm so definitely. So we're all gonna go get two. I've inhaled two. Um, Pretty much. I just break the yeah. wishbone. So grab. Okay, hold on, hold on. Oh, before you do it. Okay. <laughs> All right. Why do you have a Why do you have a bone in your hand? Because there's a tradition of breaking the wishbone, and whoever breaks and gets the longest side, their wish comes true. So whoever gets uh, the longest. You get it because you got well, yeah you, you got, got your torque up. force. Whoever, whoever gets the longest side. <laughs> yeah. Yes, we, we win. One, two, two three. three. Oh jeez. <laughs> oh. <my God. laughs> Come on, Hill. See all the all the mother-in-law jokes that she makes, and I'm stronger than she is. Mi amor, what does Thanksgiving mean to you? Uh, I think Thanksgiving is a special holiday because it is a day. It's a day. I mean, it's a day in which we give thanks. It's a day in which we are to express gratitude for everything we have in our lives. And I think uh, too often. We, we, we forget everything, we forget how great our lives are, we forget everything we have, we forget uh, that we have family that loves us, we forget just how, uh, how much we all have and how wonderful life is and uh, Thanksgiving 
is a day in which you spend time with your loved ones, you spend time with uh, the things in your life that are most important. And it's not the actual things that you have, it's not your car, it's not your house, it's not any possession, it's just your family. So this year it is so important for us to spend time with family on this day. And another thing that makes Thanksgiving so special, I think, is there's no, there are no presents involved. There's no, you know, Christmas, Easter, uh, I can't think of any of the holidays, you know, birthdays, there's always a present, there's always something that you feel like you're gonna get something selfishly. But Thanksgiving, there's none of that. There's just family, food, and laughter, and it's a lot of fun. <laughs> you wanna know what the worst Thanksgiving tradition is? What? Watching the cow babies lose. They're terrible, They're terrible. At least this time, we're not watching it in a hotel in Toluca by ourselves, though. True. <laughs> Actually, it is interesting to point out that today is not Thanksgiving. It's just the Sunday before Thanksgiving the Cowboys are playing. But the Cowboys yeah. do play on, on Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving again. So we get They'll to watch them lose again. twice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How confident are you that this is gonna turn out delicious? I'm confident that we're gonna eat it regardless of <laughs> how it turns out. <laughs> All right, pecan pie slash cobbler, my all-time favorite dessert. How is, is it? How did your sweat do? I have the best sweat. <laughs> She's sitting right there. <laughs> right there. She's right there. Last Thanksgiving tradition for Thanksgiving number one: watching planes, trains, and automobiles. <laughs> There's so much that reminds me of Greg in this movie. Great movie. Great movie. Thanksgiving. Number two. All right, Dad, what is one of your favorite Thanksgiving traditions? <laughs> Other than eating? <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess that's part of it. I like pecan pie. Oh, Although, yeah. Although, did not make a pecan pie this year. We bought a cake instead. So. Yeah, all right. Do you have a favorite, uh, like, memory or tradition from, like, from your childhood way back when in the 30s? I wouldn't say just a single favorite, but I just remember going to my uh, grandparents that are on the Kennan side mm -hmm. and the family celebrating Thanksgiving and Christmas there and all the, all the good food we always had. So, what was something that you remember? Uh, boiled peanuts for one, oh, yeah. uh, which we had earlier tonight. Um, and just, and my grandmother made a great pecan pie. All right, Dad, give us a rundown of uh, our Thanksgiving menu. Well, we got soupy... Uh, green bean casserole. Green bean casserole. What, what happened with the green bean casserole? <laughs> I made it soupy. <laughs> Let's see if it's... Just for you. Oh, nice. Better. Green bean pudding. They're okay, that looks all right. That looks so bad. Green bean casserole. We got uh, some yams. yams. Spiral cut ham. Ham. What's your opinion on ham versus turkey for Thanksgiving? Oh, yeah. Either's good. Either's good. Either's Either good. one. 
Ooh, we we like got uh, some stuffing, yeah. dressing. Dressing. Stuffing. Yeah. And we got nothing but cakes. You won't find, nothing but cake. You won't find that in Mexico. Lemon. Two. Dang, dang. Now you mentioned this yesterday, but I think an interesting thing about like Thanksgiving, even Christmas, is you can make all this stuff all the time. Yeah, year round. But ham, for some reason, um, deviled ham, eggs. turkey, deviled eggs. Mm, oh, there's deviled eggs in the fridge. Sure is. Uh, oh, this. Stuffing, oh, this. sweet potatoes or yams. They're delicious all year round. Why do we only eat them twice a year? I don't know, but. <laughs> there is one day when it's appropriate. <laughs> Thanksgiving, a holiday in which we give thanks for everything we have in our lives and we eat like we're never gonna see food again. And give thanks for my really good stretching techniques to make more room. Open up, open up room. Open up the dark room. <laughs> what does Thanksgiving mean to you? Thanksgiving means having all my family together in one place. Oh great, I knew she was gonna <laughs> cry. But that'll do it with you. <laughs> okay. Why is she what's crying? Your, what's your favorite Thanksgiving food? <laughs> she can't do it. Right she now. really loves we'll mashed have potatoes. To come back. <laughs> chocolate and chocolate for combine. Chocolate for combine. It's real. Oh, that's my favorite too. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Let's see if uh, Vance it. knows how to make micheladas or not. I don't think I stirred. Yeah, that's it. Um, that just tastes like beer and pepper. <laughs> pepper. Sounds like a good it's like Saturday beer night. And black pepper. It's a Guamanian michelada. Yeah. I've I've had worse. Um, would you pay for it? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Do you normally drink Corona or do you get this just for the uh, no. Mexicans coming over? <laughs> no, I don't normally drink Corona. This has probably been in my fridge for like three months. You just waited for us? Yes, it was perfect time. <laughs> do you have like a particular favorite Thanksgiving memory or something in particular that you do remember about Thanksgiving, maybe from your childhood? Um. Just everybody being together, being together with all the cousins, and then when we were little, we would get together, and our dad and his brothers would play football against each other, and cheat and push and uh -huh. shove, and that was fun. And, and then, then we do that. And then now, like they don't all play, but the kids do, and so it's fun to play with cousins. And then people who've married in the family, like Greg or my husband, they can also play. Um, so it's just kind of like carrying on the tradition. Oh my gosh. Now it's time for some spike ball. <laughs> oh, oh no. <laughs> what is your favorite part about Thanksgiving? Um, um. Uh, family gets to come. Family gets to come? Mm -hmm. Do you know how to speak Spanish? Yes. See? Si? What do you know how to say? A lot. A lot. Como, como estas? Estoy muy bien, gracias. 
¿Y tú? Estoy muy bien también. ¿Cómo te llamas? Yo me llamo Carter. Oh, Carter. Mucho gusto, Carter. Gracias. Gracias. Hasta luego. Sí, gracias. Gracias. Hasta luego. Hasta luego. Hasta luego. Hasta luego. luego. <laughs>
that's cool. Um, what else? Um, Do you have a particular like memory from your childhood when you think of Thanksgiving? Uh, we probably didn't have a true Thanksgiving until after I was out of high school because we would go to soccer tournaments every year. Oh, oh interesting. Athlete of the family. <laughs> Football. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.